A local congregation says it's uncovered ties to the Wright family and is fighting to preserve their historic church. Now they are working to get the landmarks to secure its future. Soul stirring services. You know, people who love to worship and praise the Lord. 92 year old Miss Annie Stewart <laughs> has attended Mount Eden Missionary Baptist Church for 63 years and loves to sing its praises. Amazing grace. The 103 year old church has something to sing about as well. In Bishop Wright's diaries, he was, of course, the father of the Wright brothers. He mentions coming to the church at the laying of the cornerstone, as well as coming several other times in his diaries. The church opened in 1912, commissioned by the Church of the United Brethren. It also apparently served as a refuge following the Great Dayton Flood of 1913. Mount Enon bought the church in 1962 and has been here ever since. However, a fresh set of eyes just recently dusted off all of this history. We want to make sure the whole community and everybody knows how important this church is. She says this is a mock-up of the Ohio historical marker they've been approved for. They're also currently in the process of gaining historic designation through the Dayton Landmarks Commission. And watch those boards, they're kind of rickety. It's been a bit of an uphill battle to get to this oh, wow. point yeah. and to get this recognition. But now they are ringing the bell so future generations never forget. It's sitting on a corner where everybody can pass by. It is a beacon light for this community. And we will continue to stay in touch with the church members and the Dayton Landmarks Commission to let you know how things progress.